Hey boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to bring uh, your own motions into Anima from iClone. Uh, I'm not really trying to do an Anima tutorial because there's, there are some really good Anima tutorials out there, but this is specifically for how to bring your own custom motions from iClone. Somebody asked how to bring a motion from iClone into Anima. So um, I'll start from scratch. I already, already did this once to prove, to prove that it would work. And I'll start from scratch. It requires the use of 3D Exchange. Um, so hopefully you have that. You really should. If you have iClone, you have to have 3D Exchange. It's like Swiss Army knife. So uh, what I want to do is I want to have this guy stumble around and, and be drunk. And I'm going to do the shortcut here. I don't, I'm not going to... Usually a lot of times in these things I would show you why you couldn't do it a certain way and, and it would get errors, but I don't want to go that. I just want to show you how to do it. This is the right way to do it. I can just add this motion into this guy like this, just click on it, and, and this is the motion I want, this kind of stumbling drunk motion for a walk. I'm going to use this for a walk. And I could I could export this, file export, and then try to bring it into Anima, and that wouldn't work. And I couldn't even use Exchange to bring this in. The reason is uh, Anima requires a starting pose, a T-pose, to kind of start off this process. Even though it says it's not going, we'll get to that later. So So we need to have a starting pose that it can kind of, I know where everything, uh, where, where all the arms and limbs are going to deviate from. It's going to calculate it from that starting pose, okay? So on the timeline, we have the timeline. We need to really put a starting pose in on frame one here. So if we go here back to, uh, move over here, go here back to the poses, just to, just to pose, and we'll go down to the T pose and put that in here. And now that removed the existing animation there. That's on frame one. So now we're going to go to frame two. Okay, frame two, with me so far. And we're going to go down to this drunk pose. And there it is, and we're going to load it back in. So now on frame one, we have this T pose, and then and then past that, we have him stumbling around. Okay? So that's what you have to do. You have to have your T pose in the start, and then you put your other... And I should mention this parenthetically, that you could do this with, with any motion, but if it's a purchase motion, if you bought this from Real Illusion, then you have to add the export version of that motion otherwise you run into drm problems so i don't actually use a lot of purchased i have some i have some slinking motions on other things but i don't own the exports for those because i just create my own through mocap i have the perception neuron suit and uh, so i i do that stuff but still it's worth knowing that you would have to have the export version uh to do what we're going to do so now after you've got this in iclone and you can create your own motions, too. I mean, you know, you can do whatever you want. But you have to get a motion somehow with that T-pose. So now we go to Export and go to Export FBX. Okay? And we're going to export the whole thing. We'll do all. We'll just use the 3D Max one. That's fine. It's a, it's a good standard for this. And that's about all. You don't want to try this. You might say, oh, Mike, I can use T-pose. But this actually just exports the T-pose. That doesn't do you any good. Uh, you do actually have to have that T-pose exported. Uh, no, I take it back. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to slap myself. You don't have to have that because we embedded the T pose in the frame. So, okay. So, but but that wouldn't do you any good. That would just give you the T pose and not the motion. So we'll export this. I've already done this, so I'm I'm going through these motions again. But this is well, this cooking shows. I wanted to make sure it worked before I tried to show you. Okay. So if I tried to load that motion into Anima, it wouldn't work. It would give me an error. You just have to trust me on that. I don't want to go through the effort of doing that. And the reason it does that is because it also exported the skin, and we don't want the skin to be exported, or at least Anima doesn't, it just wants the motion. So we have to open that particular motion up in Exchange. Yes, get that in, so now it's in Exchange. And again, it's the same, it's the same motion here, if we uh, move to this motion here. It's got the T-pose on the first frame, and then it goes into that, uh, that other stumbling around, okay? So that's what we want. So now we can go ahead and export this to another format. We'll go to Export FBX. And we don't have Include Geometry checked, so we want to leave that unchecked, okay? And everything else is okay. So we'll just we'll make that stumble too. Again, I've already done this, so I'm just trying to show you guys how to do it. It does it. There it goes. Okay, and that's really the only steps we need to do there. So we really don't need Exchange anymore. So now we're in Anima, and I, I'm not going to try to show you how to use Anima. Hopefully you know enough, but I'll, I'll just show you how we bring this pose in. We go to this. If you go to here, that's where you're, you're creating your paths and everything. So you go to this little 
icon guy here to switch to content editing mode. And we go down to the motion and to the project clips, and we're going to click on add. See that little plus button to add? And so now this is going to import. And I've already done this one, so that's why this name comes up. We're going to leave all that stuff alone. Just say import. Now it's going to say it doesn't have a reference pose. I don't know why it says this. It's got a reference pose in there. I don't. I, I should ask the Anima people by that, but I'm not going to select another. It says if, if I don't select anything, it says otherwise Anima will attempt to use to detect the reference pose using the first frame, which is exactly right because we have a reference pose in the first frame. So I'm going to click on this X. Uh, that's their cancel. There is no cancel button. There's just a little X here. You either say yes or you or you exit, which is weird. And then it says it matches the preset. Now, if it if you don't have if you haven't done this once. You're going to have to set up the bones. And I could do another tutorial on doing that, but it's real straightforward. You just show what bones map to where. And I, like again, I can set it. But after you've done that once, then you'll never have to do it again because it'll always match up with that. So, And then you just let it. It tries to determine what orientation it's coming in. And then it gives you warnings. I just don't pay attention to that stuff. So, <laughs> All right, so there's there's our drunk guy coming in. Okay, it's, it's, it really looks terrible, but but I mean, this wasn't a great motion to begin with, so. But now, you'll notice that this part's in red here. This is because it's assigned to a standing walking. Uh, we want to loop this, and in order to loop it, this has to be not red. Otherwise, we can't use it as a locomotion walk. We could take off locomotion, have the guy just kind of stand there, but but it's not a standing pose. It's a, it's a moving pose. So how do we do that? Well. First of all, you try lowering your precision on here. So you can lower the precision and as you lower it. That didn't seem to help any because it still stayed um, red down here. So now we lo lower, uh, we, we play around with the loop detection. So we go up here, see if we can find a place where it gets, no, it isn't getting there. So now we kind of play with both of these. Ah, there we go. So we got it. So now it's it's a combination of the loop detection and the precision threshold is it found something where it kind of matches up now honestly this motion isn't a great motion to begin with because he's stumbling around but it's it works okay so now it's it will work for a walk we can uh, take a picture of it because usually you want to have a, a picture of some little uh let's see if i can get one where he's stumbling eh, eh, that's a good one stumbling around so we get a little picture of that go here and take a picture there we go. Got a picture. Stumble. You can change the name here. We can change it from stumble to to just stumble. I don't think I have a stumble. And then we can save that. And that's really about all you have to do at that point. So now you can use that motion just like you would use any other motion. Here's that stumbling thing. So I can I can drag it over to this guy. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I have a I have a, a weird sense of humor. I'm gonna make the path bigger because I've done this before. When he stumbles around, the people can't get around him. So, <laughs> so you need to. I like this guy looking at him. He likes he looks at him. And this guy. <laughs> they're like, wait a minute. Now you notice he passes through him. That's I again. I don't want to go into how to use anima. You can you can uh, avoid that. You can. You can change it to to it's better, but I but but you have him stumbling around there, and you can you can. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's just he's just funny looking. What I would normally do for for this particular thing is I would I would actually make the path bigger. The, the reason they're they're going into him is that there's no way for them to get around him. So so he's <laughs> well that didn't work. Okay, right, well maybe he's okay. Hang on a second, I have to see where. No, he's not on the path anymore. So uh, we got to kind of. Kind of rotate him around. Ah, get there. And I'm not, you know, I'm really not an anima expert. What I, I, I know how to use it enough. Oh, he's going the wrong direction. That's the real problem. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's put it that way. Is that right? No, I don't know. I don't know which direction he's supposed to go in. There he goes. Okay. Now they can walk around him a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, still, still going a little bit through him, but... That's uh, now. Well, I see. I've got the path is screwed up here at the, at the start. That's why people are going around in a circle. But anyway, so that's uh, that's how you do it. That's how you put your own motions. You can have whatever your own motion. <laughs> I gotta stop this, or I just keep laughing. Um, and hopefully that'll help. Uh, then I'm gonna do one more tutorial on bringing uh, Daz characters, Daz characters, yeah, Daz characters into the character creator and then into Anima uh, to show you that whole process, but. In the meantime, now you know how to bring on your custom motions, and I'll talk to you on the forums.